It's the weekend, you guys, January 23rd, 24th. The sun is in Aquarius and the moon is in Gemini. This is so crazy. I had a good friend who passed away who was born on January 24th, whose sun was in Aquarius and moon in Gemini. I want you to know that when I say someone's birthday, it doesn't mean that's where the moon was when they were born. It's just the birth date. The moon, of course, is moving all the time. But in this case, happy birthday, Michael, who passed away. Sun in Aquarius, moon in Gemini. So funny. He had the funniest sense of humor and he had the most wicked laugh. And he was just the character that said the wildest things. I remember sitting next to him on a subway in New York and he looked at me and he said, were you putting makeup on this morning in the mirror or did you just put that on? I was like, what? He said, I can't, like he was kind of insulting me, but making a joke. Were you looking in the mirror when you put on your makeup? Yes, silly. But that is so Aquarius Gemini. They just say the first thing that comes to mind. They don't care whether it's right or wrong. They have a genuine, authentic humor system. Because why? Because it's both in error. And there's five planets in error, by the way. And the sun is exactly on Saturn on the 23rd on Saturday. So this is a serious, Aquarius, Aquarius conversation because Saturn's on the sun. When the sun and Saturn are staring, it only happens once a year. It makes for tremendous discipline. It makes somebody very old. It makes them very wise. And the futuristic Aquarians on this planet are the kids. This is such a kid's chart, Aquarius with Gemini. They are the ones, if you listen to your children, they're the ones that say the questions. You're like, what? I had my son once ask me, how did Adam and Eve actually get on the planet in the first place? He has that, Gemini. I was like, well, now that's a good question. He has this exact combination. How did Adam and Eve actually get here in the first place? These are questions we can't answer. Another one he answered was, how do you believe in God if you can't see him? That left me stumped, Aquarius Gemini. And the answer was, you don't need to see God. You need to feel God. And when there's double air in the heavens, we can come up with the right answers and have the right thing to say. And that's what this weekend's about. Giving birthday cards to people, spending all the time you can with your friends, figuring out who you can write a note to, really getting in a handwritten version of writing a note, said the Aquarius Gemini. Some way that you can celebrate other people that are around you because this is a very social weekend. It's worth our while if we're living inside our closed spaces in the dead of winter to find ways to communicate with all this error. And with San Saturn, and with Saturn exact degree on the sun, it's the perfect time to use discipline in our friendships and our relationships. Happy birthday, Michael. I know you passed to the other world, but sometimes I wonder if you're watching me.